Hey everyone, this is CryptoGuard from Particle, and today I'm going to show you the Particle Open Marketplace that's coming out on mainnet in just a few days. The Open Marketplace is an application on Particle Desktop, which is the main client and wallet of the Particle network. It's a completely decentralized and private by default marketplace where anyone can buy or sell goods and services without relying on any sort of intermediary. What's cool about that is that you don't have to pay any fee to third parties. The marketplace just runs by itself. The processing of payments, moderation, escrow management, hosting, messaging, everything is fully autonomous and doesn't require third parties. The other very cool thing is that you're actually in full control of your data. There's no central authority or platform operator that can access your data and use it as they please. So here we have the listings page of the Particle Open Marketplace. As you can see, there's a lot of focus being put on the user interface and into making this marketplace something that you actually have fun using. Um, and that's a big issue in general with crypto. It seems like a lot of developers, they forget why they're building products in the first place. And that should always be about the user, not the developer. And for us users, Nowadays, we don't have time anymore to mess around with complicated software and having to go through tons of tutorials just to get something working. We just want it to work out of the box, right? That's why there's such a big focus on making Particle as easy and as pleasant to use, if not more, than any other traditional online commerce platform on the web. Um, here, we're just browsing the marketplace and looking at what's available. You can click on listings to see their description. You can change pictures. We can also flag products that we do not think should be listed on the marketplace. That's because the marketplace itself is self-moderated by the community. As I said earlier, Particle is completely free of third parties, which means it doesn't have any hired moderators. The moderation of the marketplace is instead granted to the users of the platform on a one coin is one vote basis. You can see the moderation system a bit like the Reddit rating system. You can upvote or downvote products, and when they reach a certain negative threshold, they get hidden from the marketplace. This is in place to make sure that the marketplace stays free of undesirable listings and products. So. Here, just as an example, I will flag this listing because there is no picture. Now, keep in mind this is a testnet environment, so I'm not actually flagging anyone's product here. Um, so there we go. Now we have our confirmation. The product has been flagged. You can also get a list of all the products that have been flagged by the other users. So you just go here and you click on the flag filter near the top of the client. And here we see the other flag listings. We can just click on the flag filter again to go back to the marketplace. So we have other filters in place as well. And of course, we'll be adding much more as we go. So now let's go ahead and let's buy a product. Here, for example, we'd like to buy this Ledger Nano S device to store our particle coins on. And by the way, what I really like about Particle and Ledger is that you can use Particle's cold staking protocol and safely stake your coins even though they're not even connected to internet in any sort of way. They're just stored on your Ledger device but they can still earn you some sort of passive income. So let's say we want to buy this device here. You can access its description, you can see all the information related to the price, and as you can see here, there's also going to be a comment section soon that's going to be a bit like the Amazon question and answer section. And here's the favorite function, which allows you to bookmark products if you want to buy them later. All right, so by clicking here on add to cart, we will put this product in my cart, of course. You can either click the cart icon at the top of the screen or you can go to the buy page of the marketplace just like this. 
So here it brings us to our cart with our ledger device in it. And there's, of course, here the favorite section. So these are products I've favorited in the past that I want to buy at a later time. So here's the order page with a previously purchased ledger device. We'll come back to this page here later. So now let's buy this ledger just to show you. We click here and now we're at the shipping information part. Here you can fill out your shipping information. Don't worry, Particle is designed so that only the vendor can have access to that information and no one else. There's no company that can collect and analyze what you write here. And there's also no information that's publicly stored on the blockchain or on one of Particle's side network. So once you go through the whole process, you can then save your profile for later use. This information is again entirely private and it's stored locally in your wallet file. So now it's time to review our order. Particle uses a decentralized form of escrow that requires no staff. It is based on the mad game theory and requires both the vendor and the buyer to make a security deposit into a smart contract. This is to keep both parties honest. The security deposits will only be released once both parties agrees that a transaction has been completed satisfactorily. So here in this initial version of the Particle Open Marketplace, the security deposit is equal to the amount of the product being purchased plus the shipping cost. So here we have an item that costs 25 Particle and the shipping cost four particle, and that's a total amount of 29 particle. Then we need to make a security deposit equal to the total amount, 29 particle. So that gives us in total 58 part. And once the transaction will be over, I will of course receive back 29 particle, which is my security deposit. And I'll have a brand new ledger device in my hands as well. Let's now place our order. It takes us to the orders page. We've been here before, if you remember. Um, we now have a new order marked as bidding. So bidding is when you've made an order, but the vendor hasn't accepted it yet. So the way it works is that you place an order, the bid, and then the vendor has to accept your bid. And then both of you will make a security deposit into the escrow smart contract. Now, all we have to do is wait until the vendor access my order. When that happens, you'll see it in your orders page. The order will now be marked as awaiting. And here we are. Our order is now marked as awaiting. Uh, awaiting is when the vendor is waiting for you to make your security deposit. It means the vendor has accepted your order and that the ball is now in your court. So to progress, I now need to make my payment. And as you can see, some of my coins here are locked and they can only be unlocked by executing the payment or waiting until the listing expires. This lockup period, it happens at some point when you initiate the uh, purchasing process. It's just to ensure that both the vendor and the buyer will go ahead and fund the escrow. So now let's confirm our payment. Uh, here it shows 58 part, but it's a small display error. Since we want the item shipped international and not to the US, it should cost me 62 part, not 58 as stated here. Um, let's check the overview page to see if everything is fine. And yes, now as you can see here, we see the correct amount, 62 part, which is the price of the item plus the shipping plus the security deposit. Um, so just keep in mind, this is a small issue here because we're on testnet, but it will be fixed within the next couple of days when this releases on mainnet. Now that we've funded the escrow with our deposit, we now need to wait until we receive our product. So that's the next step. 
we can check in the meantime whether or not the vendor has actually shipped the product and here we see that the vendor has shipped the product and he sent me a UPS tracking number that I can use to track my package online. Uh, just so you know, tracking your packages right from the Open Marketplace application is definitely something we plan on adding during our beta phase of development. So let's fast forward a little bit into the future and let's pretend that we've actually received our Ledger Nano device. We go ahead and we mark the order as complete. This will release both our security deposit and the one for the vendor, and it will also unlock the payment for the Ledger Nano device to the vendor. And here we've done it. The A to Z process of buying a product online without any middleman taking its fees and with full control over our data. So here on the overview page, we can see our refund for the security deposit we made into the escrow system. All right, so now let's play the other side of the coin and let's do the same process, but now as a seller. First thing we have to do is to put a product up for sale. Here's where you fill up all the information about your product, its description, title, category, images, and so on. All the data that you see here is stored off-chain on Particle's secure message side network. It ensures a great level of privacy and it doesn't slow down the Particle network by filling it with data that stays there forever. Um, here, of course, just like when you're buying something, none of your data can be mined by the Particle network or any other intermediary. So, as you can see, we're putting up for sale here a crypto mining rig. So let's pay for the listing fee here, just a few cents, and set the listing for two days. Two days is currently the maximum amount of days that you can list an item, but that's going to be changed, of course, very soon as we're going through a lot of changes to our code. And here's my mining rig. And as you can see here, there's a second listing that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. So please keep in mind, this video is edited, so it's just a listing that I posted before firing the camera. So let's fast forward into the future and the Particle Network got one confirmation. That means our listing is now published on the Particle Open Marketplace. So let's go see it. Here it is. What we're now going to do is wait until someone buys our mining rig. And for that, we've fast forwarded ourselves into the future again, and we've received a notification, meaning one of our order requires attention. So it looks like someone placed a bid on our mining rig. Let's accept the order and wait for the buyer to fund the escrow with his security deposit. There we go. The buyer has now made his security deposit. Ours was made automatically as well by the smart contract. As you can see, the amount displayed here is nine particle, which is equal to the value of the item, seven part, plus the two part shipping. 
we can now prepare the order, ship it, and give our customer his tracking number. And now we wait. The customer will eventually receive his order and unlock the security deposits by marking the order as complete, just like we did a few minutes ago. There it is. We can see now that we are receiving 18 particle coins back, which is our security deposit of 9 particle coins plus the payment for the item, which was 9 particle as well, or 7 particle plus 2 particle for the shipping. So once again, we've sold an item for crypto with an escrow system that's virtually free of use without exposing our business data to any third party and without having to pay any intermediary. That means we've made a sell and we've kept 100% of the proceeds in our pocket. No sales fee, no subscription fee, no escrow fee, no payment processing fee, just a small listing fee of a few cents designed to fight off spam. And so I've just given you a brief overview of the open marketplace, but this decentralized application is hosted on the Particle desktop client, which is Particle's main wallet. That means that it doesn't only host decentralized applications, but that it can also make payments. And just like with the marketplace, it's super easy and user-friendly to do it. So let me walk you through it. One of the newest Particle desktop feature is multi-wallets, which allows you to basically manage several crypto wallets within the same Particle desktop instance. This is a great security and privacy tool as all the wallets hosted on your Particle desktop instance are perfectly isolated from each other. That means there's no data that can be shared between wallets and it's also a very convenient way to manage multiple wallets at once and manage different accounts. Now I'll show you how to create a new empty wallet and we'll receive a transaction with it. Uh, here we always recommend to encrypt your wallet. And we've got here our 24 C passphrase. Um, these you need to know somewhere very safe and somewhere nobody has access to except for you. If someone gets access to these 24 words, they can basically recreate your wallet and steal your funds. So keep that somewhere safe. And now we've got our new wallet ready. By clicking on receive, we can here generate a new address. We can rename it. And you can see now that our wallet is encrypted, we'll need to unlock it every time we want to make an action. This is an added security measure to protect your funds. Um, you can just click on the lockpad icon at the top right corner if you want to unlock your wallet for a good five minutes. So for this demonstration, let's not receive a public transaction, but an untraceable one using Ring CD. Particle is a privacy coin and it uses confidential transactions on mainnet and bring CT on testnet to keep transaction details anonymous on the blockchain. Particle is in fact the first blockchain to have a working version of the Ring CD protocol that, as we know, was made popular by Monero. But Particle has it on the Bitcoin codebase instead of the CryptoNote codebase. First step to receive a Ring CD transaction is to get ourselves a private address. So we just click here on the tab, we generate a new address. Here I remade it my first transaction, Ring City, and I'll copy it to our clipboard. And now we have to send some coins to it uh, with a Ring City transaction. So here we just change the wallet with multi wallets again, and 
what we first need to do is to make sure that we have some coins on a private address as well. That's because for a transaction to be untraceable, it has to be made with RingCity and also it has to be made between two private addresses. And so let's transfer some of our public coins into a private address. We click on the convert tab here and we choose to transfer public coins to Anon coins. Anon is, of course, for Ring City transactions and Blind is for confidential transactions. So both have different levels of privacy, Anon being the strongest one. We put 25 coins and we click on Make Payment. We'll need to wait just a little bit to get confirmations, so let's fast forward again. Now our balance transfer is fully confirmed. We can now send our Ring City transaction to the wallet we've just created minutes ago. Let's go to send, and here we paste the private address where we want to send the coins, and let's say it's a payment for my friend Monica here. Make sure we're sending her a Nanon payment and we'll put 5 particle on it. We also have the option to specify the level of privacy our Ring City transaction will have. The higher you go, it means a more private transaction, but it also means that it'll be more expensive to use. So we make the payment and we see it here in overview. Now let's go check it out on a block explorer. As you would expect from a Ring City transaction, both transacting amounts and participants are anonymous, as it should be. Privacy will become very important moving forward. In fact, it will become a very hot topic in the years to come, especially as AI and data mining technologies are getting better and more invasive every day. It is very important in light of this that we have solutions that allow us to remain private, especially when it comes to our financial lives. But it also shouldn't be too complicated. I mean, after all, how many times have we consented to give our data away because some terms and conditions were too long or too complicated. This is why we want to make privacy on Particle as easy to use as possible. Now let's go check out the wallet we created just moments ago and see if we received the transaction. Here in the overview section we see that there is in fact an incoming transaction but all of our balances are still at zero. Don't worry, we haven't broken the blockchain or anything. It's just because the wallet is encrypted right now. In fact, when a wallet on Particle Desktop is encrypted, you cannot see its private balances. So let's go ahead, write our password, and bam, here's our new coins. They've been received with a Ring City transaction that has SegWit enabled, Bulletproof enabled, and that operates on top of the Bitcoin code base. And so, I'll also use the opportunity to quickly show you guys the proposal system. The proposal system allows any user to create, submit, and vote on proposals using their coin weight. Here, just like the marketplace, one coin is one vote, and it uses the same underlying governance mechanism used for the decentralized moderation of the marketplace. So here we can make a new proposal. Here we'll poll the community about which cryptocurrency they'd like to pay for products and services on Particle the most. And just in case you didn't know, Particle's open marketplace is designed so that it can be used by other cryptocurrencies as well. They can be integrated through either partners, atomic swaps, or the Lightning Network, although these two last options are still a work in progress. It's important to know, though, that alternative payment options won't be part of the first mainnet version of the marketplace that's coming out in a few days, but it's a feature we'll see early on during the beta phase of development. And so now we confirm and submit our proposal, and here we see it. Right now, of course, we just see one proposal, and it's mine. 
but once we go mainnet, we'll likely see much more proposals from the community. So on the overview page, we can see here it's publishing fee. So as you can see, it's not too unlike the open marketplace. Um, a proposal is basically just like a listing. It's just di displayed differently. If we go back to the proposals page, we can now vote on our proposal too. So here, just for the sake of it, I'll just pick Bitcoin because it's obviously a good first cryptocurrency to integrate, in my opinion. Although I'd like to see all of those coins available as payment options, of course. We see that my vote has registered and is powered by the number of part I owned, which is here 66 particle or so. And that concludes our walkthrough of the latest version of the Particle Open Marketplace. We'll be demonstrating in exclusivity at Magical Crypto Conference and Consensus the Open Marketplace on Mainnet. In the meantime, you can start earning Particle Coins by simply joining our awareness campaign at friends.particle.community.